well, it's time to talk about more. Pokemon XD and things not responding on my computer. Oh my gosh, it's Dumbledore. Hey, so Dumbledore um, is gonna be my opponent, and he has Pikachu and this stuff like that, and I don't know. So, um, myth trainer. You know, he's not really a myth. I mean, I see him in front of me. You know, myths are normally things that aren't confirmed or like sort of like unicorns and stuff. But like, he's not really a myth. He's sort of a guy, and he sort of looks like Dumbledore, or Gandalf, or something like that. But I like to think he's Dumbledore, because I like Dumbledore more. And, um, so, the Pikachu, yeah, I don't really care. I get hit by static, but he does a Thunderbolt and heals me with Bolt Absorb. See, we both take damage from the abilities of our Pokemon. Actually, I get paralyzed and healed, which isn't that bad considering the last battle, and yeah, um, Poochyena pretty much finishes off that Pikachu. I mean, who is this guy? Is he like the big Pikahuna dude from that one episode or something? Cause all he got is a Pikachu and his name isn't Puka or whatever that thing's name was and his eyes would go blue and it'd be like Pika and had like a raspy voice, it was real creepy. And it, um, whatever, so I guess that's not him. And so the Pikachu's all like Pika Pika and now he says my shadow Pokemon is on the verge of opening its heart so I can just go to the Relic Stone, which is not the Sorcerer's slash Philosopher stone and open up my heart of my Pokemon so um because you know your Pokemon you know, can't really do much when it has a closed heart it is better to open it up so open the door of his heart and he learns dig hooray and get some experience and he's level 11 great yay alright so celebrate good time come on da, 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 da. so I name him shoe because um I have pants and I need shoe actually it's not named pants but by the end of the episode we'll get to that and um so yay now it's all happy and healthy forevermore and He's gonna take me back to his house, and this is a cause for celebration! Yay! Ten points to Gryffindor, and so, um, yay. Now there's a new purification system, but Professor Crane must have something to do with it, and oh my god, he was kidnapped. And so I guess I'm supposed to go see Vander, and Vander lives in Mount Battle, that's sad, and, um... And I, I guess he's going to be helpful and tell us about the Cypher Lab. So we got to go find Mr. Vandy Vander and um, go do stuff with him. And so he wants my PDA number. I'm like, oh snap, PDA from Dumbledore. And so I'm um, leaving. And I guess we're just going to head on out to the place with the battles and the mountain. So aptly named Mount Battle. I don't even know what kind of vocab I'm using. That doesn't make sense. Alright, so, um, it <laughs> is Mount Battle and Speak of the Devil. It's, wait, what do you mean Speak of the Devil? I wasn't even talking about him, but it, the red dress man and the red hair is gonna be like, I saw you at Gate on Port, and as a result, I attain this status because I'm good at fighting Pokemon. I urge you to think about your future because I am like guidance counselor, except not really. So, there's a Delcati, and there's a box, and we are more interested in the box, so we will steal the full heal from the box. Because, I mean, who else is gonna do it? There's a kid that looks like Edward Elric or something like that from that one show that I don't watch, and, um, in here, it's magic time, and we go talk to this woman, and she's all like, Unfortunately, Vander is sorta busy. He has a job, unlike most of us people, but if you really want to go see him, just, you know, step on through them doors. I'm like, woman, you are not tricking me. I am healing my Pokemon first, because this place is called Mount Battle, and you would want to be prepared. Nah, okay, Mount Battle, you just see, like, infinite amount of battles. If you get to, like, 100, you get, like, a Johto starter or something like that, but screw that. And, um fun stuff like that in Mount Battle, but right now we gotta go get Vander. So I got my Poochiana and my Jolteon, and we are gonna go get Vander. So you walk up here to boot number one, some woman walks seductively up to you, and you're like, holy cheesecake, and then she's like, oh, I just finished training, but I think I will beat you, little child. And so Beauty Miru wants to battle, and we're like, oh snap, no, and so we're gonna speed through all these battles, because there are all these people in the way up to Vander, so so we're gonna kill her Wormpole and her Wingull, and they both start with W, so that means they fail. 
And um, water gun, does water gun matter? No, Jolteon does not care. It can get hit with whatever it wants to get hit with. And we're gonna finish things off with that poison bang. And no, the poison sting, and no. But, um, yeah, so screw this. It's just a bunch of random battling, and I don't like random battling. Jeez, I wanna run around and have fun and save the day and go talk to Vander and go sing Professor Crane, because he might be my dad. No, <laughs> I don't know. So, <laughs> he's not my dad. Why do I keep saying that? Um, so he's in a trainer zone or something like training some kid or something. Thanks, woman, you're helpful. Why can't I just skip all these people? Do, you, do they know that I'm not supposed to be battling you, casual dude? Casual dude. I love the names of the trainers. I mean, Bug Catcher's cool and Lass is cool, but casual dude and like super trainer or whatever that was in the last episode, those names are just awesome and stuff like that. I think they had some pretty creative ones throughout the Pokemon games, like ruin maniac and like stuff like that that doesn't really make sense um oh my god you guys want a comment question to the video what's your favorite type of trainer no i'm just kidding oh uh, so <laughs> who the hell does that and um so we're just gonna kill a corpish unfortunately i don't have any electric attacks besides thunder wave and that's totally useless here unless i'm trying to catch pokemon or something Oh, Jesus. And now, um, oh my god, we killed him. Poor little guy. It's okay. Yeah, to go see Vander. Vander's somewhere over there. Thanks for being helpful. So, Vander's on part little three. And Vander is like, oh, hey, what's up? I was helping a trainer, but you know what? He's just gonna fight you for practice. And so it's like, okay, he got a dirty one a spoink. I pretty much have every type advantage possible in this situation. So I'm just gonna bite the spoink twice, which is totally unnecessary. But wait, is it necessary? Yes, it is. Dang, that spoink is tr strong for real. I like how a spoink looks when it dies. Here, just like watch. It is just like, okay, die already, spoink, please. Thank you. Thank you. So Splunk faints so its little bead falls off or something like that, so that sucks. And uh, now there's a Dodoo, and I'm learning Bite, so I'm gonna delete um, Heal Bell or Howl or Heal Howl Bell Howl Heal Howl Bell. Yeah, yeah. So I delete Howl. Jeez, why did that take me so long to think about? It's not like I'm ever gonna use Heal Bell, but it's just unique, so that's probably why I'm keeping it for now. So the Dodoo dies to a crit, and um, stuttering, like um. Now he is depressed, and he's like, Oh, Vander, why'd you make me battle that guy? You're a mean teacher. And Vander's like, but my name's Vander. And so we go over here, and Vander's all like, In the desert cell here, there's a cyber research facility, and if you go there, you know, Professor Crane will probably be there. So good luck. And so um, we have to just go on our lonesome, because he's not going to help. Shady characters and lab, blah, blah, blah. So whatever. Thanks. You're so freaking helpful. And so we're going to go outside, and then Aiden is going to be like PDAing us some, and he'll be like, Oh, guess what? Pokeballs are now off the black market, so you can just get them at any store you want. I'm like, oh, thanks, Aiden. You're so helpful. Thus, the name Aiden. He is an aid. So, um, we're going to Gate Village to get some Pokeballs. So, I'm going in here buying some Pokeballs because you gotta get them when they're hot or something. And if you buy 10, you get a Premier Ball, which is nice. And so I buy exactly 10, not to get ripped off, and he's gonna throw in a Premier Ball for free. A Premier Ball. Premier. Who cares? I can't say it. And British people say it different. Uh, so we are um, granddaughter, and yeah, so this is the Name Writer. Hello, Name Writer! And he's gonna teach my pants to be named Pants, so Jolteon will now be named Pants. And that is all good in the hood. Except it's not really a neighborhood, it's more just like a gate, a gate. And so, um, pants, 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 look at it, paw, the ground, pants, 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 pants. So now we're going to Cypher Headquarters since we're all peppy, because we're named Pants and Shoe, and we're on a mission, and we're going on our little moped thing. And, um, hooray! We are at the bad guy's headquarters to save Professor Crane! Yay! Alright, who's super excited? I am, oh my god, I'm so excited! Yay! Alright, the end. Screw this junk.